Regaining control by Ukrainian army over Nestria Island in Kherson complicates Russian advances. Ukraine's control over Nestria Island in Kherson Oblast is tactically important and will make it more difficult for Russian forces to approach Ukrainian positions. Dmitro Pletenchuk, a spokesperson for the Southern Defense Forces, told Hromadsky Radio. Commander-in-Chief Oleksandr Sirsky said on April the 28th that Ukrainian troops had taken control of Nestria Island in the Dnipro River Delta in Kherson Oblast and advanced near the village of Veletensky. Nestria Island was considered a grey zone and is the last in a group of small islands followed by the river mouth, Pletenchuk said, saying that the re-established control holds tactical importance. The regaining of control over the island of Nestria in Kherson Oblast by Ukraine will significantly enhance the quality of counter-sabotage measures by the armed forces of Ukraine, Dmitro Pletenchuk said. Speaking about the island of Nestria, we are not talking about strategy, but about positional battles. It has more tactical significance. Any locations that prevent the enemy from approaching our positions are important. Considering that the enemy usually uses similar locations, there are actually many such islands on the Dnipro River to approach closer and to install mortar, then this is primarily important for the quality of counter-sabotage measures. So yes, this location was liberated from the potential presence of the enemy, he said. He added that Nestria is the last in a group of small islands followed by the mouth of the river. Russian troops use locations such as the island in Kherson Oblast to get closer to Ukraine's positions, the spokesperson added. Actually, it's our shore. In reality, such islands are mostly marshy. It will take a long time to find it on the map, but it's larger than the inhabited spots across from which it is located. For a while, it was considered a grey zone, he said. NATO can set up a 100 billion euro financial support package for Ukraine, President Volodymyr Zelensky announced on Monday during a joint press conference with NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg in Kiev. Today we discussed Jens's initiative to create a special fund to financially support Ukraine's defenses in the amount of 100 billion euros for a period of five years, Ukrainian media quoted Zelensky as saying during Stoltenberg's unannounced visit to his country. It is important that this is not at the expense of bilateral volumes, earmarked in our agreements on security guarantees, Zelensky emphasized. In turn, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said that the alliance would increase the flow of arms and ammunition to Ukraine amid the war with Russia. Stoltenberg is also expected to address the Ukrainian parliament, RADA. During a joint press conference, Stoltenberg praised Zelensky's leadership and the bravery of Ukrainian forces and civilians and invited the Ukrainian president to attend the NATO summit in Washington in July. It's important to visit Kiev again and meet with President Zelensky. The situation is difficult, but it is not too late for Ukraine to prevail, and more support is on the way, Stoltenberg wrote in his ex-post ahead of his surprise visit to Ukraine. In early April, Stoltenberg proposed a 100 billion euro five-year package of military aid to Ukraine that would give the Western alliance a more direct role in providing support to Kiev. NATO declined to comment on Stoltenberg's proposals but an official from the alliance said foreign ministers would discuss the best way to organize NATO's support for Ukraine, to make it more powerful, predictable and enduring. It should be noted that today's visit was Stoltenberg's third trip to Kiev since Russia's full-scale invasion of the country, with previous visits on April 20 and September 28 last year.